Hey guys, welcome back. We are nearly, it's just like the weekend coming up. Good Friday, Easter, chocolate. Let me tell you a lesson that I learned, a very important lesson that I learned last week when I attended a wedding of my wife's best friend. And this wedding, first lesson, so we're not just gonna get one lesson. First lesson was looking back at how far you've come. Because when I first attended that venue for a wedding, it was my wedding. And it was the second wedding they had at the Norfolk Mead in the new area there, if you've ever been there. Amazing venue. This was 2016. And this was the height of my performance-based nutrition for athletes. When I was working with people that were competing in the Olympics that year, people that had competed in the Tour de France that year, professional cyclists, world champion triathletes. But I had lost focus. I had lost the ability to see what was going on with my own life and my own health and had made excuses, pushed my health to the side because I was hustling and pushing and building my business to the level I wanted it to be, to have the wedding I wanted to have. And then I saw the pictures and I thought, you know what, shit, I need to do something about this. I'd put on about 20 kilos. And from that, saw those pictures, was triggered, and I lost that weight. But having a picture taken in the same suit that I had at my wedding, after having to have the inches, uh, the waist inches brought in by three inches, was ridiculously powerful. To see the change in my face, to see the change in my arms, my shoulders in that same suit. And then someone actually commented how lean I was looking, which was powerful. And, uh, 20k is easy, Stephen. It is easy, especially when you're getting coached by me. Humble brag. Now, what else happened there is I started talking to this guy who is a business owner. And unbeknownst to him, he doesn't know what I do and how good I am at working with business owners on lowering stress, increasing performance, and making sure that you have a sustainable body for your sustainable, scalable business because your body is your business, as Stephen will know. And we were talking for a good hour hour and a half and uh, he was telling me about stress and he was telling me about how he goes home every night he's got a business working with 50 odd people and he has a beer or two and then the football might be on midweek and he'll have a couple of beers for that then he'll go to the football at the weekend and he'll have a few beers there have a beer with Sunday roast and all these different things and we actually look at adding it up the awareness is something that he didn't have because of the fact of how many drinks he was having. Now, any of my clients will say, apart from Stephen right now, the plans that I get people on are sustainable. I'm not gonna cut alcohol out completely. I want you to enjoy alcohol, not rely on alcohol. But this guy told me, he said, but you don't know what it's like to be a business owner and have 50 people that are stressing you out. And my response to that was, yes, I do. His response, why? Because it's my job to. I've built a worldwide, world-renowned reputation on being the guy that works with business owners to lower stress and to improve their performance in their business through making them have a sustainable body. Then the alcohol isn't necessarily the issue here. It is the reason for having the alcohol. I had a client I spoke to yesterday how he's relying on alcohol. We've started working together. And if we just said to him, no alcohol, he would find some other way of dealing with the stress, whether that's other drugs, whether that's sexual activities or cheating on partners, or whether that's going through junk food or something else, there will be something else which you look to actually lower that stress from. So we have to get to the core root of that stress. And this isn't about cutting out alcohol. What it is about, just like myself, when I had to drop that 20 kilos, it is about awareness. Awareness of completely where you are at right now. If you are stressed and you're waking up or you're going home and having alcohol for the sake of having alcohol because you're stressed out, there's a little bit of responsibility needed to be taken because those 50 employees that you hired, that you hired, that are stressing you out, are hired and working that job because of you. So if they're stressing you out, is it the hiring process? Is it the actual training process? What is it that's causing it? Now, if you go home and sedate yourself on alcohol, now he told me he sleeps well. There's a difference between sleeping well and regenerating and being sedated, knocked out because of alcohol and Adderall and other drugs that are gonna help you sleep. They're gonna help you sleep, get your eyes closed and get you knocked out for six, seven, eight hours. 
Another study that came out is showing around that 15 to 20% more chance, more probability that you're gonna have a stroke or heart disease when you get older if you have even one unit of alcohol per night. One unit of alcohol in the UK. So what I'm getting to you with this video is that if you are having alcohol, why are you having it? Because it's not necessarily the alcohol that is giving you the issues. It's the underlying reason for drinking. If you have an alcohol to take you out of the real world, to take your stress levels down, to sedate yourself, that is where we need to look at it. That is where awareness comes in that, okay, we don't want to go over on calories too much. Maybe we can have non-alcohol uh, beverages because you can get non-alcoholic beers now. And some people say, hey, don't taste the same. I personally don't like them. I don't like the taste of alcohol and even the non-alcohol ones, I can't taste the difference. I still don't like them. That's not a humble brag or anything like that. It's the fact that I don't like them, so I don't have them. Now, if that's a step forward, then great. It's about that minimal gain you can get, that minimal move forward. What is the one thing that is stressing you out and how are you dealing with that? Now, I'm gonna be openly honest that when I was going through a lot of anxiety, when I was actually having anxiety attacks when I left my corporate job, when I was managing, actually the last management role I had, there was 35 people under me, not literally me laying on top of them, it wouldn't have worked, but there was 35 people I was having to deal with while they were going through potential redundancy. That was stressful and that drove me to a lot of anxiety and it was based around judgments of other people. Now how I dealt with that was not alcohol, was not smoking, was not drugs or anything like that, it was going to the gym, which again wasn't healthy because of the amount of stress I was putting on my body. I was dealing with stress by putting more stress on my body. And that's me being honest about how I dealt with the stress there. Now if you're one of these people that are dealing with stress by having sedatives, you can't sleep so you have alcohol and drugs to make you sleep, feel free to drop me a message. I will just have a chat with you. We'll get on a call and we can just chat about it because alcohol isn't bad in moderation. Alcohol is there to be enjoyed in moderation. That moderation word is a load of BS really, to be honest. But alcohol is there to be enjoyed. But if you're reliant on alcohol because of other stress that's going on in your life, that is where we need to actually look at it. Because yes, we have so many fitness professionals saying that a calorie is just a calorie. And fat loss, weight loss, is calories in versus calories out. But health, health is much more than that. Health is lowering stress. Health is getting the nutrients to go in your body, getting your body to actually utilize those nutrients, being able to regenerate and rejuvenate the cells in your body, get the sleep, get the mindfulness, and actually get alcohol to be enjoyed. Because you're there in a social situation with alcohol. You're there and actually enjoying a date night with your partner over a glass of wine that you're really enjoying and you actually look forward to. Not having it for the sake of having it. Damn flies. I know I should have had a shower. Not having it for the sake of having it because you're stressed. And if you want to talk about that stress, just remember, I may be a nutritionist, but I'm a health optimization coach. And I'm bloody good at getting to the bottom of what is stressing you out. Drop me a message and we can chat. I will look forward to speaking to you. But if it's not me, please speak to someone about it because there is something going on there and it's not gonna be good sedating it and sedating it and sedating it. Have a great day and honestly, over Easter, have a great weekend, have some chocolate and fuck it. Have some alcohol if you're enjoying a day, a barbecue or something like that with your family because this weather is amazing. But have an amazing time. Remember one thing, one thing above anything else. Without a sustainable body, you haven't got a sustainable business, let alone scalable, because your body is your business. Have a great day.